Remind the Salat al Janazah consists of four takbirat after the first takbirat. My brothers and my sisters, Sister Haifa al Alusi is, based on what I was just told, she is Iraqi. She was on her way to Canada as a newcomer and uh, she had a heart attack on the airplane and she oh, brain stroke, stroke, la ilaha illallah. She had a stroke actually. And she passed away. So first I want to make dua for her. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless her family. May Allah forgive any shortcomings, flaws, sins. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give her jannah for those. And may Allah give her family the strength to cope and the patience to persevere. Ya Rab, ameen, ameen, ameen. And just a very brief reminder, we'll keep it very brief today. How many of us, subhanAllah, are on our ways, are on our paths towards specific goals? How many of us are taking vehicles in this life thinking that khalas, yes, our destination is promised in this dunya. But how many of us may never make it there, subhanAllah. Imagine completely changing from one life to another, from one land to another, but not making it there, subhanAllah. So this is a reminder for me and for everyone who's here. Don't take life for granted. Just a few days ago, we had four janazas here. And one of the babies was what? Two, two, uh, two days and 23 minutes old. Two days and 23 minutes old. Another one was two months and 20 some days old, still birthed in his mom's you know, womb before you know, path coming out, yani, subhanAllah, uh, you know, dead, passed, passed on. And how many of us, subhanAllah, look at that and think, yani, imagine how many more minutes and how many more days I've had to live. How many more minutes and how many more days have you had to live? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes an oath by time, when asked, إِلَّا الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُصْ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالصَّبَرِ like Imagine Allah takes an oath by, by time. Indeed, every human being in a state of loss. Each and every moment, you're losing. You're losing your energy. You're losing from your life, what is written for you. You're losing from your wealth. You're, every moment, you're losing. Except what? Man is always, or humans are always in a state of perpetual loss. Except those who believe in Allah truly. Do righteous deeds in the way that Allah has mandated. And they continuously remind each other to what? To be patient, right? To stay, to hold on to truth, and to do so while being patient. And my brothers and my sisters, again, very quickly, very briefly, many of us forget that this world is just a stop. It's just a pit, pit stop on the way to a an eternal abode, on the way to a final abode that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised us. And I want you to imagine, we've mentioned this before, but imagine you're driving and you stop at a gas station to get some food, or you stop at a pit stop to relieve yourself, or you stop at a hotel room to rest. That's what this dunya is. It's a place where you rest, it's a place where you get energy, it's a place where you relieve yourself, because you have a longer, a much more, important journey to get to and a destination that is waiting for you and an abode that is eternal so imagine how many of us spend our entire lives building a life that is beautiful in this dunya <coughs> forgetting to invest in a life that is more eternal in the akhirah it's like someone going into hotel room and repainting redecorating upgrading the technology upgrading the oh, just making it the best possible room but it's not yours it's not your hotel room. It's given to you as a loan. Yes, you're paying your dues. Yes, you're enjoying it. Yes, it's important to rest. Yes, it's important to... And you can't get to your destination without that, for sure. But that's not your home. And so many people live in this world assuming that this is their home. And they live just for that. And of course, Allah says in the Quran, وَلَا تَنْسَ نَصِيبَكِ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا Don't forget your share of the dunya. In the words of the advisors of Qarun, <coughs> advising him, yeah. So of course Allah is not saying live for the akhirah alone and forget your dunya, no. Take advantage of the dunya because it's, what you, it's your currency. It's your currency for the akhirah. But imagine Allah has to remind us not to forget the dunya. That's how we should be focused. We should be so focused on the akhirah that we have to be reminded not to forget the dunya. But the opposite now is now the case. We're so focused on the akhirah, that we, we're so focused on the dunya that we have to be reminded not to forget the akhirah. And so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give our sister Haifa Alusi, may Allah give her Jannah for those, Ya Rabbi Ameen. May Allah give her a 
residence of peace and an abode of peace in this dunya and in the akhirah, ya Rabb. Ameen, ameen. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for a family to cope. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for a family to have that strength. And ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow her family to uh, live on her legacy and to share and to donate and to work on her behalf and to build as many sadaqa jaris for her as possible, ya Rabb. Ameen. And of course, because this is a newcomer family, right? It's a newcomer family. They are going to need as much support and as much help as possible with this. So please, especially if you speak Arabic, please come forward inshallah and be there with the family because they will need your presence and they will need your support. The janaz is going to Meadowvale Cemetery. The pieces of paper are around inshallah. These ones have the directions of how to get there. Or you can just simply put it in your GPS, Meadowvale Cemetery, and the janaz will be leaving shortly inshallah ta'ala. The whole process will not take more than 45 minutes. So if you can, and if you have the time, 